One of the scariest horror movie characters of all time is a mass murdering psycho doll named Chucky from the Child's Play franchise. Today I'm here to catch up with Don Mancini, the man behind the doll, and to find out how he created a toy that would terrify generations. Don, thank you so much for letting us in your house. Thank Appreciate you for it. including me. Welcome to Appreciate the Yo it. Show. Thank you. Now, you created every and written every uh, Child's Play series. Yes. How'd you come up with the idea, and how'd you come up with the idea of Chucky? My dad had worked in advertising and marketing, so as a child, I was exposed to that world a lot. So the original impetus, what I originally wanted to write, was simply a dark satire about how advertising affected children. And since this was in the mid-'80s when Cabbage Patch dolls were popular, being a, a, a horror movie fan, I thought, oh, I could take the tried and true living doll concept, but um, amplify it so that you did it on, as a feature, which had never been done before. The inspiration for the Chucky doll came from a Cabbage Patch Kid? Well, yeah, more or less. I mean, now, I mean, Cabbage Patch dolls also, Grem the movie Gremlins had been very popular around that time. And, you know, I, w I was a big horror movie fan. So that movie made a big impression on me. I was a big special effects aficionado as well, very into animatronic effects. So, um, so Cabbage Patch Dolls, Gremlins, and again, my own um, enthusiasm for this subgenre of horror movie, which is the, the living doll concept. Now, what about the voice? Was that your idea, or did you hear a bunch of different voices? Is it your voice? It's certainly not my voice. I mean, um, the, the voice is that of Brad Dorif, the awesome Oscar-nominated actor um, who we Oscar-nominated for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. This was the idea of the director of the original Child's Play, Tom Holland. Anyway, so Tom had had a prior relationship with Brad and, uh, and thought to bring him back for, to play Charles Lee Ray, who was the serial killer at the beginning of the original Child's Play, who just before he dies, when he's gunned down by the cops in the toy store, he passes his soul into the doll. Now, why the name Charles Lee Ray? That, the name Charles Lee Ray is actually the, um, the idea of our producer, David Kirshner. Um, my, the, in my original script, the name of the doll was Buddy, actually. And this is before the My Buddy dolls. I had never heard of that before. You would have um, killed that franchise. No fun yeah. intended. Or they, or they would have killed our, our movie. <laughs> and so um, David Kirshner, as a child, he had always been frightened by these serial killers. Um, Lee Harvey Oswald, that's where the Lee comes from. Charles Manson and Ray, James Earl Ray. So those were like these three killer, three famous killers that David had been frightened of as a boy. And so he put those names together to come up with Charles Lee Ray. Now, how many Chucky dolls have you used throughout all these years? Do you remember I, like the countless I don't actually, I mean, cause we all, you know, we have like two or four for each film. And then of course, once we got into Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky, we have two characters, then three characters, and they're, you know, two or three dolls per, character and you know different dolls do different things this you know so there's just been this veritable army of of, army. of dolls over the years the sad thing is they after each film they just get stuck into a warehouse at universal and, really? they, and they rot away tell me about your latest addition to the series uh you're working on it actually you probably just wrapped it up curse of chucky yeah i just finished shooting it the other day i just got back from winnipeg in canada curse of chucky it's the sixth installment um, we've gone back to our the roots horror roots yeah it's like it's it's now Chucky going solo and um, I think it's gonna I think fans are gonna really like now it. when can we expect this one a year from now a Hall year? Halloween 2013. So today is Halloween. Have you ever brought Chucky up to the door when kids are actually trick-or-treating? You know, when we, um, my partner and I first bought this house, one of the things we were most excited about was the prospect of trick-or-treaters. So I got, okay, I got the three dolls, put them in the front window on the other side, got elaborate lighting, like lit them from below. I just thought I'm going to be the most popular house, got all of this candy, and like the, the, had the movie on the television not a single trick-or-treater. I, I think 
I think maybe we've got one trick or treater uh, <laughs> in six years. It's ter it's really disappointing. So they get a lot. That one trick or treater gets a lot. But of I'll candy. be ready for them. I All mean, right, you're like ready. The dolls are ready. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. And we'll see you next Halloween, I guess. Right. Perfect timing. Yeah, and we need trick or treaters <laughs> tonight because it's Halloween. Come by the house. All right. Yeah. Make sure you watch this show every single day. YoShow.yahoo.com. Later, guys. Bye.